Welcome to my channel today. I am going to discuss one of the online businesses I have done over years. I still remain your business coach and strategist, Shima Nabike. Today I'm going to discuss how I started jewelry business in online. Now let me tell you, you can do any type of business online once you understand the principles of doing business online. I have a lot of online businesses I've done, I am still doing. So what I'm to share now is my own personal experience. Originally, I have no idea on jewelries. I, I, I pay little or no attention to jewelries while growing up or while considering going into business. But in the course of my research online, I realized that the jewelry industry is a very big market. Market, there is money to be made in the industry. So I had to apply the knowledge of what you are about to learn here now to build my own store. What did I do first? I said it wasn't my line. So what I did was I went into studying what the type of jewelry we have. I consumed everything about jewelry, which took me 24, 48, 24 to 48 hours. I became used. I, I, I got to understand the jewelry markets, the handmade, the gold, the diamond, the rings. I studied all these things. That was a first thing I So if you want to go into jewelry, online jewelry business, I believe you must have passion for it. You must have a better understanding of it. If you don't, the first thing you do as I did is to go and study, develop your brain on the jewelry business. Then after that, the second thing I did was I niched down. In the course of my research, I was able to understand area of the jewelry business that has so much demand but with less suppliers. So I key into it. So if you are here now listening to me, you will start thinking of narrowing down, niching down. That is how it starts. Find that area of jewelry that you understand very well. That is the first step in building online jewelry business. Please, if you are enjoying, subscribe my, to my channel, share, comment as we progress in this industry. Now, once I niche down, the next thing I did is that I look for the market, the gap in the market. The gap in the market is what is my unique selling point? I started with pricing. I analyzed and analyze the website of my competitors. I saw their strengths. I saw their weakness. Now I build strength in their weakness. That become my selling, unique selling point. Now I make sure I was consistent in my niche and that makes it easy for me to build a brand identity. So if you are watching me and you want to go into jewelry business i want you to understand that consistency meeting down and consistency will build your identity that is what you will be known for that is the next step to do let you be known for a particular area of jewelry yes build a very nice logo Build a story that will that will that will trigger emotions. Yes. Find a brand name that will be very easy to remember, very easy to recollect. Yes. Create a cohesive visual aesthetic and crafted compelling brand story. These are the things I teach. 
hope you are following me. The first step was that I wasn't a jewelry enthusiast, but I find out there is money in it. So what I did was I consumed all I could to understand the industry. Then I niched down. Now when I niched down, I did what? I was consistent in providing information, in showcasing what I have. That was how I created a brand. The next step is, it was time to market my product. Now I use the established e-commerce platform to sell my product. Precisely, I use Etsy. Yes, it is a well-established marketplace for handmade goods. So that is where I channel my energy to start marketing my jewelries. Yes, it is. I move from non-jewelry enterprises to a hobby. Yes, and to also. Before I launched my jewelry business, I made sure, I told you I consumed a lot. So some of the things I learned was that I must use high quality image. Present every angle of the product in a very high quality image. Then also I use high quality video content to describe my products. High captivating uh, descriptions. After presenting those things, I move to marketing. Yes, I use the social media. I apply the use of social media endlessly. Now, when using the social media, I don't tell them buy, no. I discuss the need to look good, the need to wear fine jewelry, the need to look aesthetical in occasions, anywhere. And that triggers the emotion of buyers, and a lot of them patronize me. I build community of loyal customers. My customers yeah, are still the king of my business. So I developed a scheme of ensuring that I deliver value on time to my customers, offer discounts. This skyrocketed myself. This skyrocketed my online business. Yes, it has not been easy, but the business has grown. Today, I'm a successful jewelry business owner, online business owner. These are the principles I use to grow my jewelry business. Yes, it is thriving, but I'll tell you, it comes with a lot of challenges. A lot of challenges. But the reality there is that I conquered all those challenges. And today, the business runs seamlessly. If you are enjoying my video, please share, subscribe, be part of this community. Remember I said, you can market, you can sell anything online once you follow these principles. Identify the niche. If it is your passion, fine. If it is not your passion, study much about it. Get used to it. Be well informed, narrow down your niche, narrow down your niche, then create a brand story, create a brand identity. That is by being consistent in what you are doing. Then market, 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 content marketing, paid ads. But as a beginner, I believe you must, uh, you must, uh, you don't have uh, that much capital to go for. Mark, uh, paid marketing. So what you do is go for content marketing, write stories, write the benefit of looking good, write the benefit of write the benefit of using particular jewelries, post them on LinkedIn, Medium, Forum. People will go back to your Etsy or Shopify store to buy from you. Please, my story is a proof that anyone without even passion on a particular niche, but that has passion to make money online, 
can successfully start your business and grow it beyond your measures. Please, if you enjoyed my video, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Ask any question as it does to starting a jewelry business online. I will be here to help you start yours. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here once more. Watch for another interesting video on how to grow your business from zero to any level you want it to be online. Thank you for watching us.